I don't know what this is. Are we still friends? I don't know about you, but have you ever felt this pressure? Like, man, we were like really, really close in college, but we haven't talked in a really long time. Should I have expectations? Are we still friends or nah? It's not like it was. So what is it? The single most important key to making lifelong friends, guaranteed. What's up y'all, it's your girl KB. So a lot of people wonder, what is the key to making lifelong friends? Because they want them. As we go through life, school, jobs, ministries, whatever, we make great life-giving connections. But most of them don't often transition with us into our new seasons, which in some ways makes sense. But in other ways, it's kind of sad and unfortunate and I don't think it has to be this way. It would be incredibly dope if we could make connections with people and then go our separate ways. But when we were able to reconnect in whatever season, we were able to pick up right where we left off. But the question is, how do you do that? Friendship tears. When you only have two major categories of your friendships, your BFFs and then acquaintances, you're limiting how you get to enjoy people in different seasons of life. I don't know about you, but have you ever felt this pressure? Like, man, we were like really, really close in college, but we haven't talked in a really long time and now things are different and I have a person in this city and I'm not really talking to them anymore. And so now it's just kind of awkward and it just feels weird. I don't know what this is. And you're trying to figure out like, what do I owe them? Cause we were really, really close at one point and I was telling them everything, but I haven't told them anything in a really long time. Do I have to tell them something like that? Should I have expectations? Are we still friends or nah? It's not like it was. So what is it? Where do the boundaries end? Here's the thing, if you understand friendship tiers, there are five, then your relationships can flow within the tiers any given season. And you don't then have to question, are we still friends? You will have clarity for what the relationship is. You will know what aspects the friendship creates connection on, and you won't feel the pressure to be something that you're not when you catch up. This makes it so much easier to see somebody from like 10 years ago and have a conversation that is honest, it is authentic, and even could be vulnerable if the two of you choose to go there. Listen, if you wanna know more about Friendship Tears, you can become a member. There's some downloadable content available for you right there in the membership portal as soon as you join. That breaks all of this down very, very simply. Until then though, y'all, comment below and let me know what your experience has been like maintaining lifelong friendships. Have you been able to do it or are you kinda like, nah? In the meantime, I want you to remember it's not a hard conversation, it's a heart conversation. Love y'all, peace.